welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green, my Mono Fire Run. It's time to make our way to, well, Indigo Plateau. Though I imagine getting to the entrance to Victor Road's gonna take a while. So we have to have everyone check our badges! One at a time! Uh, this is gonna suck. It's gonna suck so hard. Uh, it's gonna suck harder than some of the later seasons of Digimon. Though at least those seasons try to have growth, unlike the Pokemon anime. Gosh darn, Ash is still the same dumb ten-year-old he was when he left Kanto. Like seriously, at least Palatani like never gets older. Despite the fact they've had two Christmas episodes that I know of. Two. Apparently years in the Pokemon universe are just really, really, really long. Like, you know, ridiculously long. I suppose the same you could say the same about the um, Superman comics and stuff. Like Superman never gets older. Same with Bruce Wayne. We've been doing these comics for forty years, and we've never seen the guy age, except when they did the Batman Beyond series. Eh, I'll go through here. Darn it! I was hoping I wouldn't get caught. Well, I don't feel like fighting Sand Slash here, so let's just get around this guy. <sighs> I got better things to do. Oh, I have the Volcano Badge. Just just leave me alone, dudes. Okay, just one more badge to go, right? Yep. Yeah, I got an Earth Badge. Just just go away. Now, if only I brought some um, repels. That would have been thinking ahead, especially since, you know, I got food in the oven, so I gotta kinda do this fast. Ugh. Oh well. I'm sure I can make it work. I mean, this usually doesn't take too long. Maybe I should put Charizard up front. After all, Norbert can actually throw around stuff like Brick Break and what have you. And I never did finish, um, Flame on some. Um, move set yet, but I can work on that later. I don't suspect I'm going to get any battles in where I'm going to really, you know, wish I had Iron Tail or whatever. <sighs> Great. Now who wants a piece of me? I'm a choke. Well, Norbert will take care of that problem. Hit him with an Aerial Ace. And if he survives, hit him again. Was he, like, juggling me with his feet? <laughs> That's what it sounded like. He's like, just keep kicking him up in the air over and over and over again. Like we're in a cartoon or something. Eh, whatever works for you, I guess. Oh, well, that's one down. Now, let's see. Go this way. Shoot. Oh, it's just a Machop? That's not even worth killing. I mean, if it was a Machoke, I could see wasting some time on, you know, for some experience, but a Machop? Nah. Shit went on the outside. Oh, well. Oh, the question is, are you good enough for me, girl? Seriously, I've yet to be a trainer yet that I couldn't crush rather easily. Naomi? Naomi Waldman? From Zoids? Didn't realize she became a Pokemon trainer. Well, let's take care of this. With a little Brick Break action. Well, that takes care of Persian. I guess it wasn't perfect. <laughs> the sad part is Persian used to be a contender. Back in the day. Kinda sad seeing what it does nowadays, right? I could have been a contender. But then they had to fix Slash. <sighs> and change how critical hits work. It ruined me. And I go with a return. Okay, that just looks weird. Like, like, what are you doing? Like, just peely hitting Punkatop with your face or something? Like, what is this? It sounds like you're just pecking over and over and over again like a woodpecker or something. Like, like what sort of move is return? Rapidash, eh? We'll leave, um, Flame on in there. Okay, time to return again. Oh no, it's faster than me. Makes sense. 
It is a Rapidash, after all. It rapidly dashes to the future! Oh, I guess I should use Return again. I mean, I could have got lucky. Got a critical hit for the win. But whatever. Oh. I definitely should have went with Return. I could have probably finished it this one this time. Gosh darn it. But that effect still looks wonky. Well, soon I don't flinch, this match is set. Okay. That took longer than I would have liked. That's why I usually try to avoid trainers in here. Full picks. Well then, let's send out Ramon. Time to see who has the superior version of this Pokemon. Albeit mine's fully evolved, so this isn't exactly fair. Now let's see, we'll go with, um... Toxic. Probably should just give Ramon double team, to be honest. I mean, it fits with the rest of the set. Gosh darn it. I guess we're gonna have to see if I manage to avoid hitting myself. Come on! Oh, jeez. In prison? I don't know if that's gonna really help. I mean, I guess it stops me from using this, right? Well, what can I use? Roar? Gosh darn it, she has half the same moves I do. So all I can do is force a switch at this point. Please, Toxic it. Gosh darn it. Ramon's struggling. And now it's protected by a freaking veil. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I'm already confused. Sadly, that's not gonna break safeguard, though. Ugh. Gosh darn it, show him with flamethrower. I forgot about the safeguard. That was sloppy of me. Um... Ixion, I guess. We're still in the center of the middle of a fight, it's gonna be Ixion. Yeah, I don't have any moves with you that are similar. Ixion runs stuff like Sunny Day and stuff like that. I need to give Ixion Flamethrower, though. I could really benefit from that one. <sighs> Hopefully we end this match here pretty soon, though, right? <sighs> okay, go with a... Stop attack here. It's not like I have a better option. Maybe I get lucky and flinch it. Oh, she's got fire spin? Weird. Yeah, a little minor bonus damage, don't care. You're gonna do a lot more than, you know, mild rapid fire, you know, to take me out. Ah, trying to protect from status effects, huh? It's not a terrible plan, but. It took way too long to execute. And cost to the match. But I can't really afford any more lengthy battles here. <laughs> This wouldn't have been so bad if we weren't both using all fire types, though, basically, right? I mean, the only thing she had that wasn't fire was Persian. <sighs> and the repels would also have helped. For avoiding Geodudes. Because they're all over the place in here, I swear. Wherever you go, you trip on them. Shoot. Ugh, this is gonna take me forever at this rate. 
I think I have to split Victory Road into pieces because, you know, I got food on the oven. Oh, at least I can just go up and brick break this thing. Okay, brick break. Yeah, I should have left Char Norbert in there and done some earthquakes on her Pokemon, you know, on Naomi. That probably would have ended most of them in a real hurry. <sighs> War Turtle, eh? Well, send out Ixion. It's got Sunny Day and Solar Beam, so it's probably my best bet. Okay. First things first, we um meek in the power of water. Tailwhip. Okay, I fear we'll be going with Surf or Hydro Pump or. Something like that, but not Tail Whip. Well, maybe get lucky and end this in one shot now. Of course not. Another... What's with the Tail Whips? Makes no sense. That definitely would be my go-to move in the middle of a fight with a Fire type. and be like, Surf. It, at least have Surf. When you got here, you had to have surfed your way in, so... Why isn't your War Turtle use Surf? It should know it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Well... I'll put Ace on that. After all, Flamon sucks at dealing with, you know, anything that requires Fire Breath. Or I could technically use Psychic, I suppose, but we still got Sunny Day in place, so we might as well use our Enhanced, you know, Flamethrower. Goodbye, Barney. Yeah, I know, making a reference to the Yellow Run is kinda weird and pointless at this point. At least I got an update done on that one earlier. Okay, a Charmeleon, eh? Definitely switching back to Norbert, then. Just drop an Earthquake on this thing and be done with it. I know, I know. Earthquake seems a bit like overkill for a Charmeleon. I won't lie. It does feel that way to me too, but... At the same time, I just want this fight over and done with quickly. Because I got stuff to do. <sighs> if I'd been a bit faster, I'd have a bit more time to play around. I mean, I... Charizard. Darn it. Um... Come on. Try and set up a Toxic on this Charizard. I don't know what other moves are gonna be, but we'll see. And... Toxic. Good thing Charizard's so slow. Oh, don't worry, it's gonna get confused next turn. Oh, try going with the scary face, and it missed. Poor Charizard, it's now screwed. In more ways than one. Come on, punch yourself in the face! Thank you. I was trying to hit one of the duckies, and just BAM! Right in the nose. I don't expect this to be super effective, but it's not like I have any better options. <laughs> At least we got the crit to help carry us through. Seriously, you're sticking with Scary Face? That's not really intimidating, you know? I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to go first next turn, but does it really matter when you're going to die? Gosh darn, he had a Hyper Potion. <sighs> well, nothing for it. We just gotta continue burning him then. I'd use Roar, but that's not gonna help since he has no other Pokemon left. If only had someone with some spikes, then I'd actually be able to make better use of it. Eh, whatever. I don't care about your wing attack. Come on, just one more round. 
Ah, oh, great, it's gonna punch me, right? No oh, smoke screen. Well, that was a waste. If you didn't go for the kill this turn, it was all over for you, because let's face it, if this doesn't kill him, po the poisoning will definitely kill him. <sighs> Jeez. I have like 20 minutes, I have already used 15 up in just the first room of this place. Stupid trainers. Eating up all my time. I suppose many would argue it's my fault for being so sloppy, since it's not like I don't know where these guys are at. Or at least I used to. It's been a while. Okay, let's just run away. Darn it. Some wasted movement there. I don't like that, you know, when I'm on a time crunch. Still don't understand how strength works, you know, because you don't see a Pokemon pushing the boulder, you see yourself doing it. Okay. Good thing I was up higher. Oh, a primate? As interesting a find as this is, um, can we take him down fast, please? Primate doesn't exactly have much in terms of defenses. This is why. I'd I was so worried about Bruce Lee being taken out by um, Claire's Dragons, you know, in the uh, fighting run for Pokemon Silver, because you just can't take a hit when you're a primate. Okay. Walk behind him while he's not looking. Yeah, we gotta go up and around. Yep. Um, I ain't got time for this battle. I really don't. Okay. Again? I barely even got around the place. Oh, another primate? Well, I guess I can pop this real fast, because... It's going to take about as long to kill it as it would to run away. Ugh. Just too many apes. They're really going bananas on me. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. Oh, I can push this aside, all right. I have to go on a pretty long push for this one, though. I'm not even worried about that item. <sighs> of course, we get hit by a Geo dude again. You'd think there'd be at least Gravelers in here instead of Geodudes. Maybe Gravelers are rare or fine, but still, like you think I'd be running to those a lot more often than Geodude. Then again, I still remember the time they entered Geodude into a fighting Pokemon tournament. It was in the anime, but yeah, they're like, um, we need another fighting type for um Brock. Like, just tell him to use this Geodude. It'll be alright. It's not like the kids at home know what the typings are, you know? They're just dumb little kids. They'll never figure this out. I also love how the episode ends with um, this guy promising to make Ashes on um, Prime of a real P1 champion when he'd already won the title. So, what do you mean you're going to make it a P1 champion? It already is. Like, are you going to make it a better P1 champion? Is, is that your claim? Like, you won down to luck, you know, interference from Team Rocket. I'll make your um, Prime of a truly spectacular P1 champion. Unrivaled, even. Uh, you have to do the editing on this one while I'm eating. Or after I get done eating real fast. No, I don't want to go down there. If I do that, I'm going to have to move that rock again. And Moltres isn't even in there. If I wanted to get Moltres, I would have to stay on the mountain and work my way through it to get to Moltres. Which I just didn't care about. I will take that, though. It could come in handy. Let's just bypass you. <sighs> I might come back to fight her. I wish you could use the, um... <sighs> Gosh darn it, first seeker in here, duh. But you can't use it inside caves, for whatever dumb reason. Being able to use it in here would be the bomb, because you could actually fight trainers that, you know, are 
on your level and do some serious grinding that way. Come on. Do I really have to be interrupted by a stinking bat? This ain't Batman. I ain't got time to spend on you. Well, I guess technically it's Batwoman this time, but still. Same rule applies. Don't, I just don't have time for you. Okay. Let's fall through, push this boulder, and get out of here. Yeah, I want you, Strength. Come on. This is to get through Victory Road. Stop pestering with the little details and let me push some rocks. If only if I activated the entrance, I'd just stay activated until I was done with this area, right? So much more convenient. I understand probably why it works that way, but still. Okay, let's just bypass you two. Well, that's right. I don't think he fights us. He's just there to congratulate you for getting through Victory Row and proving yourself, you know, a truly worthy opponent. So that means we can just keep on moving. We gotta keep on trucking to the finish line. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. I don't understand why they got so many random stones out here. Like, does it spell something if you look at it from above or something? At any rate, we made our way to Indigo Plateau. Next time, we'll start taking on the Elite Four. And, you know, our rival one last time. Until then, see ya.